Thank you for logging on to the Voice Sports Network for this broadcast of high school sports. We encourage you to go to the games and support your area teams. We know you have a choice, and thank you for choosing us. This broadcast wouldn't be possible without the support of the sponsors you hear throughout the game. We encourage you to visit their businesses and use their service as often as possible. Be sure to tell them thanks for their support. Now, sit back and enjoy the game, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Norwell. We're a little bit late getting on tonight, so not much of a pregame show as uh, Derek Decker along with me and Noah Tobias should be joining us here soon. Um, he uh, got a little confused on the location, but that stuff happens. And the Knights are hosting Dwenger tonight. The Knights looking for their first win of the season as they've started out this year 0-3 with losses all on the road to um, Concordia and Adam Central and Mississinawa in a close loss last week. Yeah, they had a, uh, a good shot to win it. They had a couple shots at the end. Uh, they had the ball with seven seconds left and had two shots to tie it, and uh, neither fell. They were actually both good looks, but after a 15-2 start on that one, we kind of kind of let down in the second half, just kind of struggled though in the offensive end especially, and uh, we're looking for a better offensive night. The defense was better against Mississippi. I was impressed a little bit. They tried to run a, a full court trap press early. Uh, that's that gave them the 15 to two lead, and then they kind of backed off that. And then we're going to tune in the national anthem right now. Great job by the Norwell Pep Band. First time I've heard him this year. For Dwenger, this is their first game of the season after winning a football state championship. So they come in with no record against the Knights. And that's normal yeah. for this week in the season for Norwell. It's usually three or four games for the Knights and zero for Dwenger. We'll join PA announcer uh, Jamie Feldheiser for our starting lineups.
Once again, those starters for the visitors on the scoreboard, the Bishop Dwanger Saints. It's Sam Royal, number 10, Ryan Berghoff, number 12, Conlon Martin, number 20, Zach Smithy, number 30, and David O'Daniel, the big man in the middle, listed at 6'8", number 54, for head coach Matt Kostoff. He's in his 17th year at Dwanger with a record of 204 and 152. For your Knights, it's uh, Cody Shively, Ian uh, number 10, Ian Kissel, number 12, Quentin Middleton, number 23, Colt Rinkenberger, number 30, and number 32, Bray Wilson. As Cody Shively gets on the board quickly on that offensive rebound, it's 2-0 Norwell, and of course the Knights coach by head coach Randy Hawkins. So that's a nice start for Norwell as they take an early 2-0 lead here off the tip. Kind of surprised Norwell was able to get that tip, Noah, or Derek. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of kind of tipped around a little bit, and Norwell came out with it. Nice pass inside Kissel to Rinkenberger, and Rinkenberger way off on that shot. Quickly the other way, Dwenger in Colors reminiscent of Norwell's as Sam Royal not able to get the three to go down, but the offensive rebound by number 20, Conlon Martin. Will restart the offense. David O'Daniel, number 54, listed at 6'8". And uh, that travel. he's making Norwell's uh, bigs look small out there. That's the first turnover on Dwenger. We'll try to find some more information on the Saints. Kissel working against number uh, yeah, tw- yeah. not sure about that. Is that a turnover, Derek? Now it's a miss three by Middleton. Okay. Still trying to get settled in here from some connection issues that we had prior to uh, getting on, but with Derek's help, we were able to do it. I, I don't know that I could have done it myself. Of course, being 53, <laughs> I am at a distinct disadvantage when it comes to all things yeah. tech. And being 16, Derek has a huge advantage on me. Is Middleton off on that one as well? That's a tough shot, but a good offensive rebound. Now Wilson for three. That's no good. And it remains 2-0 Norwell with 5.54 left in the game. Dwinger yet to get on the board. Actually, Campbell Donovan is out there, number 14. That's why I was confused. Instead of uh, Ryan Berghoff, Shively on the drive, and he's going to draw the foul from Sam Royal and go to the line to shoot a pair. Cody, the only player in the scoring column so far. I uh, came from a couple of middle school games, and they were entertaining, to say the least. Uh, Carroll swept the Crusaders of the middle school. The 8th graders were beat. Well, the 7th graders were beat by 25, but the 8th graders were beat uh, on a free throw with one second left to lose 41-40. to Shively, one for two. And Norwell now with a three-point lead. There's another three from Ryan. He hits this one and ties it up. The Saints uh, really relatively young this year. They uh, do have a bunch of seniors, but not a lot of them with playing experience as I believe that was Ryan again on the three and it's now or excuse me that was a long two for Ryan keeping score with the book tonight so not as many stats will be available as Noah Tobias has gotten in here and he'll save me a little work as that shot from Kissel off. That was a two. Being 
Now Kissel up here. And a good drive there by O'Daniel with the miss. No, he didn't make it. So Kissel running the offense up front for the Knights. Okay, now I think we're all set. Noah, good to see you. Thank you. I am so sorry I am late. I got some dates mixed up, but it's all all right. Oh, it's all good. Well, we had our share of problems as well. Yes, we did. I heard a little bit about those. <laughs> we, uh, oh, Cody Shively with a very tough three from behind the backboard. That's no good. Score still 5-3. to three. Dwenger, four minutes left here in the first quarter. As that pass tipped by Cole Wilson, who entered for the Knights. Yeah, this is a great game last year. That came right down to the wire. Yeah, Wilson replacing uh, Middleton in the Norwell lineup. Sam Ryan with an awkward jumper. That was no good. That was a two. Neither team shooting particularly well right now. Wilson's shot blocked out of bounds by number 30. Zach Smithy. The Knights do have a couple sophomores dressing varsity that have not dressed yet. Um, Brandon Nicholson wears number 42, and Christian Bahada wears 40. That's the first they've dressed this yes, year. Yes, that's right. Have to make a note on my uh, list here of that. Bahada wearing number 40, you said? Yep, and Nicholson wearing 42. Christian Bahada, a five foot nine inch sophomore. Brandon Nicholson, a six foot three inch sophomore. As the foul was called on number 22, Jack Pentenberg, his first. That's the third on the uh, Saints. And Cole Wilson able to knock down one of two. So, a very low scoring affair so far in this one. Neither team really having too much trouble finding shots. Nice move by Donovan. That shot was blocked by Shively the other way, and a blocking foul is going to be called. And I believe they're going to count the basket. Cole Wilson on the move. We'll check it. Yep, they yep. do. So the Knights retake the lead, and the foul called on Sam Ryan. That's his second. In for... Dwenger now, number 34, Zach McKenna. He's a six foot one inch junior. Cole Wilson will try to make it a two point Norwell lead, unsuccessful. Ooh, he stepped on the line there. Official didn't see it. Zach Smithy on the rebound, but uh, the officials had all kind of run away from him. That's Pittenberg. Now they swing it around to Ryan. Ryan or excuse me, that's not Ryan, that's Donovan with the ball. Ryan's down with uh, two fouls and a good steal there by uh, Kissel. So the Knights will try to build on their one-point lead with under three minutes to go. Shively with a quick three, no good. And pulling down the rebound, number 42, Evan Doling. Doling from the elbow, couldn't get a shot off. Donovan up top. Donovan, a well-thought-of junior, listed at six foot. You know, Coach Kostoff counting on him this year. And you expect the Saints to be a little, boy, that's a long three. That was from McKenna. McKenna, a six-foot, one-inch junior. Shively looking for help up top. Finds Wilson. Wilson, not in the scoring column yet. No. Missed a couple of shots, two and a three. Shively being well defended by Donovan. Wilson able to get out of the trap there. Good job by Bray. Looking backwards, really. This is where the Knights have really struggled. There as uh, Dwenger in a man-to-man -man defense, but they're doing a good job of shoving them outside on the steal and the break. It's Zach McKenna. 
And we've got a seesaw battle here at Norwell so far with a minute 35 left in the first quarter. Wilson now handling it. Nice pass underneath to Stauffer. Stauffer kick to Shively, no good. And Cody's... Shively's been ice cold lately. Yes, he has. Starting with the uh, Adam Center game, Adam Central game. And that one, I believe, Cody 0 for 9 from beyond the arc. That's right. All kinds of subs here as Quentin Middleton re-enters along with uh, Kobe Gibson and Colt Rickenberger back in there for the Knights for the Saints. Let's see, we've got Evan Dolings back out there along with Pittenberg, O'Daniel. Can't tell who's on this side. Conlon, or no, yeah, that's Conlon Martin inbounding. I do like their uniforms, a little bit different. That fifth player's uh, Zach McKenna, who stayed in for the Saints. Yeah, they're very similar to Norwell's road uniforms. Yeah, that's what I similar. thought. Almost identical. Yeah, they may be the same uniform actually, with the exception of the numbers and letters. That's O'Daniel inside. O'Daniel averaged just two points and four rebounds last year. But boy, he's a good-sized young man. That was Pettenberg with the miss and. Uh, in the corner, Conlon Martin. Oh. oh, nice steal by Martin. He'll tie it up. It's going to go to Dwinger. Yeah, good hustle by Conlon Martin. Six foot junior. After missing that shot, he really did a good job following it. O'Daniel flips it up and gets fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot a pair. It'll go against uh, Cole Wilson. That's his first, team second. Dwinger with four team foul. I missed a foul. Yeah. I'll get it. That it's was, all right. Yeah, that was probably one that I missed earlier, Noah. You made pretty good time from uh, Bishop Dwinger. Or... From Fort Wayne, yeah. I was in the Jefferson Point area. Oh, okay. <laughs> O'Daniel. So Oh my goodness, wide open Conlon Martin. Somebody got lost after the offensive rebound and there'll be Norwell's ball. Yeah, this night team is just struggling to put the ball in the basket. Just six points here in the first quarter. Really from Norwell's defense, I noticed that they're really closing down uh, on the on Bishop Dwinger when they come inside the paint, and yeah. they're really doing a great job of not allowing them to get any of those easy layup baskets. Yeah, after a so-so defensive effort at Adams Central, boy, Dwinger really getting after it in their man-to-man -man right now, pushing the Knights way out. Kissel, nice pass underneath to Rickenberger, and Rickenberger at the buzzer ties it up. In a low-scoring affair here, we're at the end of the first quarter. We're all tied at eight. We'll be back after these words from our sponsors. This is your moment. Explore the University of St. Francis. Known for our quality academic options and dedicated professors who practice in their fields, you will discover the perfect program to fit your interests and goals. Hands-on experience with internships, clinicals, and co-ops makes a USF education a great value and investment into your future. Apply now at sf.edu. We are seeking applicants for $15 million in scholarships this year. This is your moment. Believe. Welcome back to the castle. Greg Van Meter along with Derek Decker and Noah Tobias. Big news if you're a Cub fan. Just heard from one of my fellow Cub fans, Eric Morgan. Ben Zobrist has signed with the Chicago Cubs, which means that it's highly likely the next deal to be announced will be Starlin Castro 
to the New York Yankees for pitching is my guess. But we're here talking about Norwell basketball oh. right now. Boy, a well-defended inbounds play. That's going to be a foul on Jack Pittenberg. He actually had a hold of Ian Kissel's jersey. Or, yeah, okay. I wasn't sure for a second. It looked like they were always going to call it on Ian, but no, they weren't. Yeah, it was the second foul on Pentonburg, fifth on the team for Dwanger. As Gibson, Middleton, Kissel, Cole Wilson, and Drew Rinkenberger out there for the Knights. Colt Rinkenberger. Colt, what did I say? Drew. <laughs> well, yeah, I remember That'll Drew happen. very well. That'll happen. Drew is an older brother, graduated in 13, I believe, from Norwell. Very good football player. As McKenna bats it into the backcourt, Kissel able to retain possession. Yeah, good steal there by McKenna. Up ahead to Donovan, blocked by Wilson. He didn't think he got a piece of him, but the official thought he did, and unfortunately that's the only <laughs> opinion that matters. That'll send Campbell Donovan to the... Donovan actually to the line. Guys and his uncle told me not to mispronounce that name. <laughs> Saw Mike earlier this evening. As Donovan knocks down one of two. And Dwenger retakes the lead at nine to eight. This has really been a very tough offensive night for each team at this point. As we're in the second quarter, just 25 seconds into it. Now Dwenger going to trap full court. That pass from Gibson knocked out of bounds. It'll remain Norwell's ball. Cody Shively back in for Norwell, replacing Kobe Gibson. Shively will launch another three. This one barely gets any iron. And quickly the other way is Campbell Donovan, the runner no good. A foul on the rebound. Looks like it's going to be on David O'Daniel over the back. That's his second foul. So Dwinger, That's big. Yeah, Dwinger with three players now with two fouls. I found That's, the one that you missed. Very good. <laughs> and the next one will put uh, the Knights in the bonus. So that's a big deal here with still seven minutes left in the second quarter. Kissel will launch a wide open three and bury it. Norwell retakes the lead. Well, you just cannot give Ian that much time beyond the arc. He'll hit it 75% of the time in those circumstances. Norwell in a straight man-to-man. -man. They've been in it the whole game. As the left-handed shooting Zach Smithy couldn't get that three to go. Norwell pushing into the front court. Middleton working on McKenna. McKenna, good defense. There's the steal. Quickly the other way, Donovan. Donovan is going to be fouled by Cody Shively. The Norwell bench and accompanying fans not real happy with that one. He thought Cody got all ball. It surely looked from this angle that he got yeah, all ball, but that's is, at the other end of the court. It's right. going to be on the floor as well. 14 foul on the Knights. First on Shively as O'Daniel takes a seat. That shortens their lineup quite a bit. Inside, the player off the bench is number 30. Or excuse me, number 44, Mark Corson, entered for the Saints. And we're all tied up at 11 now again. 6.15 to go. Good pass underneath. Rinkenberger can't get the layup to go. And quickly the other way, it's Conlon Martin. He gets all the way to the rim. Well, you got to put a body in front of him. Yeah, Middleton just lost him on the way back. That's going to be a pushing foul on... On 44, Mark Corson, he had just entered for the Saints. Also a sub for the Knights, that's uh, Riley Stauffer replacing Rinkenberger. That puts the Knights in the bonus. 
quite a bit of time left here in the first half to take advantage of that. Middleton's free throw, a good one. That's yeah, one of the little things the Knights need to do right to keep them in the game. Yep, that one's short. Way to jinx him, Derek. Good Thank job. You. You're getting Craig's I'm getting luck. Craig's. Yeah. yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, well, it does uh, It does rub off. It's, <laughs> it is contagious. Ooh, almost a travel there by Smithy. That's yeah, a push. Yeah. As Norwell's doing a good job of dropping down on the bigs when the feeds go in there. That time just a little bit too much contact as Bray Wilson picks up his second, fifth on the team. That's uh, Martin looking for room. Donovan will put up a three, no good, in and out. Martin again with the offensive rebound. Somebody didn't block him out. Yeah, he sure didn't. I mean, he's only listed at six foot, so he's not one of their bigger players, but he's very active, very hungry for the basketball. There's Ian Kissel for three. Good. Ian found an opening again, and the Knights now have a two-point lead again, and Coach Kostoff wants a timeout. Check to see. You missed one. The distance there. It's a 30 on the Saints. We'll take a quick break and be right back. The new Cato Nickel Foundation Family YMCA, 550 West Despin Road in Bluffton, is now open and invites you to stop by and take a tour of the new facility. When you join the Y, you're not just a member of a facility, you're part of a community surrounded by friends as well as caring and knowledgeable staff. Here are just a few of the benefits of joining the Y. Professionally trained staff support, the opportunity to bring guests, plus various youth programs. You don't want to miss out on all your local YMCA has to offer. To learn more, visit fwymca.org. Well, welcome back. 5.05 left here in the half. Dwinger with the ball. Well... It's an interesting night for Cubs fans. There's another foul on the Knights. Cody Shiley with the second. Yeah. Next one will put him in the bonus. Nope, that's just only six. Oh, wait. Oh, did you say next one will yeah. put him in the bonus? Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, right. that's right. No nice problem. find underneath Donovan to McKenna. And the Saints retake the lead. This has really been a back and forth first half. Norwell taking the lead with the first basket, and it's been back and forth all night. Neither team with more than a three-point lead. Oh, almost stolen away by Ryan. Ryan out there with two fouls as well. Cole Wilson will enter and replaces Cousin Bray. The Knights have struggled to make crisp passes to this mm -hmm. point. They've got a lack of these going offense. Wilson finds Shively. Shively took his eye off the basketball there, able to recover. He's being guarded by Donovan. That's Riley Stauffer in the corner. Nice pass underneath to Middleton, no good. And Sam Ryan with the rebound. Oh, boy, that looked like a travel by Zach McKenna prior to getting rid of the ball. It's stolen away by Stauffer on the double team. Good play by Riley. Is it uh, yep, Riley? Riley, yep. Got it right. There's another long three by Shively. No good. Nice Cole rebound. Wilson, two good rebounds, and he's going to get fouled on the second one. Cole Wilson doing a good job being strong inside, getting the offensive board twice, and then gets himself to the foul line. Well, got the numbers on the Ben Zobris deal. It's amazing how numbers get inflated on the rumor mill. Supposedly, he had an $80 million on the offer on the table. He signed for four years and $56 million. Yeah, the rumors are always fun, though. Yeah. They keep you entertained. Well, and mostly they're generated by the agents. 
Right. The uh, Norwell JV with a loss tonight, by the way. As Cole Wilson with a couple of free throws ties it up at 17. 3.36 to go here in the half. Sam Ryan wide open for three. No good again. Well, I'll tell you, if Dwenger was, well, both teams really, neither team hitting a good shooting percentage at all from either in front of or beyond the arc. Oh, other baseball news of local interest. Andy Owens, the former Snyder Panther baseball coach, elected to the IHS BCA Hall of Fame today. Congratulations, Andy. Great guy. Love to see that. Wilson looking for help. Kind of trapped in the corner. Middleton bails him out. And now Braille set it back up with 2.43 to go. Bishop Dwinger is just playing great man-to-man -man defense. They're not being too far on him as Cole Wilson hits a three-pointer. Yep, nice find by Middleton for the assist. And I'll, it's a three-point lead again for the Knights. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll take that jinx all day long. Yeah, underneath. That was number 42, Evan Doling on the miss. And Cole Wilson called for the travel. Sam Ryan will leave it for Pentenberg. Pentenberg into that 1-3-1 trap for the Knights. Didn't have much trouble breaking it as Ryan lost the basketball. I think Cole Wilson might have got a hand on that. Kissel up top. Well, that was a good move. Unfortunately, good hands by Donovan took it away from Ian. Quickly ahead the other way. That's, That's going to be a foul. As ahead of the pack as he's been most of the night, Conlon Martin. Good quickness by Martin and, and a lot of just want as he has really hustled on both ends of the court. Not good on the first one. A couple subs here. Kobe Gibson back in for Shively for the Knights. And Zach McKenna replaces Sam Ryan in the Dwinger lineup. Neither, neither team shooting free throws well to this point. Contributing to the low scoring affair. There's another miss. Well, they have really struggled putting and then the another basket miss. in the hoop. As we Jump ball. In the pregame, this is Dwinger's first basketball game of the season as the start of their season always delayed right. because their football teams all go, always goes late into the postseason as Rickenberger back in for the Knights, replacing Cole Wilson. Actually a comeback win for the Saints in the football state championship. Yeah, great game. And, of course, uh, Snyder from the oh. era also winning in what might have been one of the greatest high school football championships in the state of all time. Yeah, it's it's probably the best state championship I've ever watched. Doling with the move, and he clearly traveled. Uh, offense galore. He got... Uh, 65, 60... 64-61. 64-61. Alex Neely, the quarterback for New Pal, yep. was visited by Indiana. Uh, he had 503 passing yards, four touchdowns, and four more rushing touchdowns all by himself. <laughs> what a game. <laughs> I didn't get to see it. But uh, wow. it, was, it, was a, it was a great game. Just over a minute left here in the half. Middleton will launch a three. That's way off. The rebound controlled by Conlon Martin, and he's going to be fouled. I believe it's a foul. Yeah, it was. Yeah, by Kobe Gibson. So that'll send Martin to the lane to shoot uh, one and one. Colt Rinkenberger back in there along with Riley Stauffer now. They're out there with Middleton, Kissel, and Gibson. Oh, 
Wow. Somebody didn't block him out. Boy, another offensive rebound. The Knights have gotten beat pretty badly on the boards tonight. That's a three ball. And that's good from Zach Smithy to retie it at 20. <laughs> Boy, neither team can get away from the other. By the way, you have the final trade in that Starling Casto trade. Uh, Adam Warren, right-handed pitcher. Good right-handed pitcher for the Yankees. Goes to the Cubs as well as shortstop Brendan Ryan. Nice rebound there by Middleton, but couldn't get it to go. And that's going to be a blocking foul. And now it looked like a good call. As I don't think Middleton was quite set yeah. up. I think he fell maybe a little early. Yeah, it looked like it did. Started to fall a little early. Boy, it sure looked like he was going to pump the fist and put it the other way. As Martin able to hit the first free throw this time. Yeah, he's one for four right now. Well, he seems to have found his range. That's a two-point lead for the Saints with 27 seconds left in the half. Gibson able to get rid of it before he came down. Kissel for three. Ian Kissel, three for three from beyond the arc. Doing a great job of keeping the Knights in this one. As they now have a one-point lead with three and a half seconds in the corner. That shot no good by Smithy, and that'll end the first half. A low-scoring affair. Norwell with 23 on the season. Yeah, I guess I don't have their scoring averages on here. But uh, they've got a one-point lead here at halftime. 23-22 over the visiting Bishop Dwenger Saints. We'll take a break, hear from a few sponsors, and be back with your halftime show after these words. Bluffton Tire, you know where they're located, across the street from Bummies, right at the entrance to the 4-H Park, has been serving Wells County for over 50 years. Bluffton Tire needs to be the first stop for brakes, struts, front end alignment, and offers over 20 different brands of tires. Stop by and see Carrie Jennis today or visit online at BluftonTire.com for online specials and coupons. Bluffton Tire is open Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 5, and Saturday, 7.30 till noon. Hi, this is Carrie Jennis at Bluffton Tire, and we'll keep you going. At First Bank of Burn, you can depend on us for checking accounts that fit your needs. We have free checking with no strings attached. Absolutely free checking with a free Visa debit card, free online banking, even mobile banking. Stop by or call any First Bank of Burn office. We'll help you find a checking account that is perfect for you. First Bank of Burn, employee owned and conveniently located. Visit us online at firstbankofburn.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hi, this is Dale from The Voice Enterprises. For countless years, I struggled with back pain. And more often than not, the doctors would just prescribe pain meds, which would just dull the pain. It wasn't until I was referred to Indiana Physical Therapy that I truly experienced pain relief. The professionals at IPT showed me the correct exercises and stretches for my problems, and my back pain began to fade away. And as a result, my entire body began to feel better. Indiana Physical Therapy's highly trained professionals treat all types of injuries and ailments and accept all insurance. For more information on IPT or to schedule an appointment, call 824-0522 or visit indianapt.com. 
The Big Philly Cheesesteak. Mmm, every meat lover's dream. With lots of steak smothered in melted cheese, it's easy to see why this classic is the taste that Philly is so proud of. Subway melts loaded up with your favorite fresh fixings and lots of ooey-gooey melty cheese. They're the ultimate in flavor. For a limited time only, try the chicken cordon bleu or the chicken marinara melt. It's melted goodness made irresistible. Subway of Bluffton, eat fresh with two locations to serve you on North Main and inside Walmart. He shoots. He scores. It's out of here. He could go all the way. That's the reaction you'll get when you get her a gift of fine jewelry from Daniels Jewelers in Bluffton. Hi, this is Dan and Jane from Daniels Jewelers, and we want you to score big. We have beautiful diamond pendants, rings, and earrings, including diamonds in motion. These pieces, powered by her heartbeat, are awesome. Check out our fun jewelry. Stainless steel jewelry by Steel X. Jewel pops by Chameleon. Angelica bracelets made from recycled metals. And our newest, convertibles by Lestage. We offer ring sizing done on premise, and the first sizing is free when you purchase your ring from Daniels. Okay, guys, best of all, free gift wrapping. Win big. See you at Daniels Jewelers in Bluffton on State Road 1, north of Lowe's, open Monday through Friday, 930 to 6, and Saturday, 930 to 4. Heidi Motors is celebrating 40 years of serving Wells County and the surrounding area with an outstanding selection of low mileage cars, trucks, and SUVs that are in fantastic condition. And their ASE certified technicians in the service department offer oil changes, brakes, AC tune-ups, as well as a full line of replacement parts and tires and are the best in customer satisfaction. Visit HeidiMotors.com to browse their inventory of new and used vehicles. Are you taking the first step towards a healthier you, or are you just tired of the same workout? From beginners to fitness veterans, the Greater Fort Wayne YMCA is the place for you. We offer a full range of workout equipment, personal trainers, certified instructors, a full line of classes, an indoor pool, and so much more. Have peace of mind when you work out with child care available. The Greater Fort Wayne YMCA is so much more. Join today. Visit fwymca.org. Bluffton Tire, you know where they're located. Across the street from Bummies, right at the entrance to the 4-H Park, has been serving Wells County for over 50 years. Bluffton Tire needs to be the first stop for brakes, struts, front end alignment, and offers over 20 different brands of tires. Stop by and see Carrie Jennis today or visit online at BluftonTire.com for online specials and coupons. Bluffton Tire is open Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 5, and Saturday, 7.30 till noon. Hi, this is Carrie Jennis at Bluffton Tire, and we'll keep you going. Troxel Equipment offers a full line of John Deere equipment. Troxel Equipment features a large inventory of all makes and models of pre-owned equipment that has been well maintained and ready for service. Most of Troxel's pre-owned equipment was traded in from owner operators. Be sure to ask about our certified pre-owned units. Troxel Equipment has the ability to customize your financing, lease or installment contracts to meet your cash flow needs. Visit any of our three locations in Bluffton, Huntington, or Wabash, or check out our website for our inventory of new and pre-owned equipment. Troxel Equipment, the dealership you can trust. Pizza Hut is changing the way you think about pizza with their Flavor of Now menu. With over 2 billion combinations of new ingredients, crusts, and sauces, you can customize your pizza and take it where pizza has never gone before. But don't stress, all the old-time favorites are still available. At Pizza Hut, it's everything you've always loved about pizza and more. Order online now at PizzaHut.com or download our mobile app, Pizza Hut Flavor of Now menu at your local Pizza Hut in Bluffton. Welcome back to the castle. We're at halftime in a 23-22 game between the Knights and the Saints. The Knights with the number one better. We're watching... Squires basketball players out there. Actually, we're not because the camera's in demo mode. Oh. <laughs> For some reason, this, we just cannot get this camera to not get off demo mode. And what happens is when the camera's not moving, it thinks it needs to go into demo mode. So you got to keep moving the camera. But uh, I think Noah's got some... Stats figured for us the old-fashioned way. Yep, I have never done stats like this, but hey, I don't take problem stats for no reason at all. So, what do, you, what do you got? Oh my gosh! All right, <laughs> so here is what I have. 
Uh, let's start off with Bishop Dwanger. Um, right now they are 2 of 15 for two-point field goals, which is 44%. Uh, for three-point field goals, they are 2 of 8, uh, which uh, is... I think they I got more than I think they got more than four field goals, don't they? The, they were fi they were five of fifteen. There we go for two point field goals. There we go. And then they were forty four percent from uh, two point field goals, and then they were two of eight for three point land, so that was twenty five percent. And then for overall, they were seven of twenty three, uh, which is thirty percent. Yep. Uh, and then for. Free throws, they were 4 of 9, uh, which was 44%. And then for your Norwell Knights, uh, the Knights were, uh, I'm sorry, they were 7 of 23 uh, for field goals, which is 31%. For two-point field goals, they were 3 of 12, which is 25%. And for three-point field goals, they were 4 of 10 for 40%. And Ian Kissel uh, had three threes. Uh, really that helped Norwell just keep their lead and Bishop Dwanger just kind of laid off him for a little bit and that's how really he got those three threes. Yeah, they kind of lost him on defense and listening to those stats, Ian Kissel responsible for three of the Knights' four threes, other individual scoring. Of course, Ian for the Knights had nine. Uh, uh, Cody Shively had three. Cole Wilson with eight. He had a nice first half. Quentin Middleton contributed a free throw. Colt Rinkenberger contributed a basket as well. For Dwanger, Sam Royal with a couple of threes. That's a two. Is that so, a two? Yep. Okay. So that's five for Sam Royal. Campbell Donovan had a free throw. Conlon Martin with six points. Zach Smithy with three, Zach McKenna with two, wow. and then David O'Daniel had a free throw as well. So, wow, um, not great shooting by either team. Of course, we kind of expected that out of Bishop Dwinger. Yeah, that's right. I do have an NBA score for you. The Golden State Warriors lead the Indiana Pacers seventy-nine to sixty at halftime. Seventy-nine to sixty. Seventy-nine points. Oh my I'll gosh. tell you, they and they're. As I understand, they're still undefeated. Yeah, they're correct? twenty-two and zero coming into 22 this one. Twenty-two and zero. I watched. Uh, it, um, if they win this one, that'll be really the longest streak for any professional sports team. Yeah, ever. Twenty-three in a row. I, I know they've already got the NBA record, but yeah, yeah. Stephen Curry watched him go off for like I don't know thirty-nine the other night. Yeah, Kid he does it with ease. Play. Norwell will have the ball to start this second half. Try to build on that one-point lead. It's been a seesaw back-and-forth battle from the opening tip. And nice Cody play. Shively on the back door is going to go to the line as a foul to be called on David O'Daniel. That's his third. Team's first here in the second half. And not a lot of contact there. Goes the Knights' way, and Cody Shively with a pair. That one's good. Cody normally pretty sure-handed from the line. Yeah, he struggled from the field tonight, but uh, good on those two free throws. Norwell's lead out to three as Cody just one of six from the field so far. 0 for 5 from beyond the arc. Looks like he's rushing his shot a little bit to me. Sam Royal with the basketball. He's out there with McKenna and Martin as Royal buries another three. That's his third one to tie it up. They're also out there with Campbell Dunneman and David O'Daniel. For the Knights, it's the starters. Rankenberger, Shively, Bray Wilson, Kissel, and Middleton. The Saints still in that man-to-man. -man. Well, Middleton tried to force it underneath to Rankenberger, and it wasn't there. Well defended by the Saints. O'Daniel in the pivot. Nice little turnaround half hook. Makes it a 27-25 Dwinger lead. So neither team can get more than a three-point lead so far in this one. we got 6.42 left 
in the third quarter. Well, I tell you what, I give Dwanger a lot of credit. They really defend as that's out of bounds, and it'll remain Norwell's ball. Coach Hawkins wanting to foul on that play, but I actually think Ian might have lost the basketball before the contact. At least that's what the official saw. Wilson struggling and throws it away. Recovered there by Zach Smithy. And Sam Ryan will bring it up. Ryan with three threes already from for the Saints. And kind of him and Kissel keeping their teams in it. Oh, Daniel, another strong move. This is this one. Gets his own rebound. This is again and Drew Rinkenberg or Colt Rinkenberger pulls down the rebound. That's a great defense by Colt, not giving up, just keeping yeah. on going up for the rebound. And he's given up a good five inches to O'Daniel. Wilson on the drive, the floater no good. And the offensive re or the defensive rebound controlled by Sam Royal. And the problem is Norwell from the field, they, they have to shoot really well to score a lot of points because they're not going to get a lot of second chance opportunities. Right. That was Martin on the miss for the Saints. Cody Shively. Middleton, Shively playing a little catch there on the right side. Wilson will launch a three, no good. Colt Rinkenberger with the rebound as it's off the fingertips of Quentin Middleton. Wilson with a good look under there, just not quite far enough to the right side of the floor for Middleton to be able to get his hands on it and secure it. So Royal will, excuse me, that's Donovan with the basketball. Royal here on the right wing. Norwell, both teams actually have played man-to-man -man all night long. Inside to uh, Donovan, and he'll get out of the lane. As <laughs> you might have heard a Norwell fan yelling three seconds there. We did. I think that was Coach Hawkins. Okay. As a matter of fact. Wow. Coach in fine voice tonight for us to hear him here. Sure. Not a big crowd, though. No, it's light. By any stretch. Norwell with a light home crowd. And a nice pull-up jumper down there by Royal. Gives the Saints, I believe, their biggest lead of the night at nine point, or four points. It might be the biggest lead of the night for either team. I think you're right, Derek. Cole Wilson into the lane. The leaner, good. Nice play by Cole. He's had a good night. First player in double figures for Norwell. Quickly the other way is Martin. Nice defense there by Colt Rankenberger. Made Martin change his shot. Didn't pick up any contact as Kissel leans in. He can't get it to go. And David O'Daniel with the offensive rebound. That foul, I believe, is going to go on Bray Wilson. He's the only Norwell defender back there. That's his third, first on the team here in the second half as well. Checking in for Dwenger, McKenna, and Pittenberg. As Martin takes a seat, as does Zach Smithy. That's O'Daniel pushed away from the basket a little bit and a good pick there by Cole Wilson from the backside. Cody Shively, an air ball from the corner. Offensive rebound stripped away from he called timeout. Yep. And Cole Wilson calls a timeout on the floor. Coach Hawkins will call for a, I'm guessing a 30-second timeout. It is. The Knights trail by two. We'll take a quick break and be right back after these words from T.W. Fable. T.W. Fable, a modern American restaurant, is located inside the clubhouse at Timber Ridge Golf Course at 2330 East, 250 North in Bluffton. You can enjoy a fine dining experience Tuesday through Thursday, 5 to 9, Friday and Saturday, 5 to 10. Kitchen closes one half hour prior to lounge. If you are looking for a great spot to have lunch, visit 250 Grill to enjoy some sandwiches, wraps, salads, and appetizers. T.W. Fable Restaurant, 2330 East, 250 North at Timber Ridge Golf Course. Reserve Reservations recommended by calling 260-353-1360. 3.49 here in the third quarter. 
Well, we'll have the basketball under their own basket. Bray Wilson, Cole Wilson, Rinkenberger, Shively, and Kissel out there for the Knights. That's Cole in the corner, leaving it for Bray. Bray will bring it out and set up the Knights' offense. On the drive and stripped is Cole Wilson. Finally coming up with it is Donovan for the Saints. Royal heads the other way, loses it. Donovan there to pick it up. So some sloppy basketball here. Wide open underneath was Jack Pentenberg, but they're going to wave off the basket and call the foul on Cole Wilson. That'll be his third, so the Knights have got to be a little bit careful here. Both Wilson boys with three fouls with 326 left in the quarter. And also Cody Shively has three fouls. Yeah. Launching it is Donovan, no good. And another foul called, this one on David O'Daniel. I think that's his fourth. Correct. So he will be substituted for by Evan Doling. Also in for the Knights, Riley Stauffer, replacing Colt Rinkenberger. Yeah, that foul has the potential to play right into Norwell's hand here in the late in the third quarter and then into the fourth quarter. That's going to take away almost all the size Dwinger has in the post. Yeah, he is their size advantage. A after him, it's pretty much pretty even between these two teams. Ryan Berghoff, 6'4", but he has not seen the floor yet tonight. Mark Corson at 6'5". He was in for just a very brief moment of time. Otherwise, they're just like the Knights at 6'3 across the board. Wilson losing the basketball, and Cole Wilson is going to pick up his fourth foul. That might be just as big yeah, that's for right. the Knights as O'Daniel being out for the Saints. Cole didn't like the call, but it looked like he might have got him from here. Wow. Another miss misses. by the Saints. This time Jack Pentenberg can't get it to go as Quentin Middleton will check back in for Cole Wilson. Cole with four fouls. Pentenberg's second one's good. And it's a three-point game again. 30-27. Gray out front. Wilson has not scored many points so far tonight. In fact, he has not gotten into the scoring column. There's another steal and a bad pass as Kissel steals it back. Pentenberg on both ends of that play. Kissel with a stop and go. Nice move. And that gets the Knights to back to within one. Nice little stop and go move at the elbow there by Ian. That's Sam Royal in the corner. No good. Over the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah is Evan Doling. That'll go the other way. It'll be the third team foul on Dwinger. Sixth team foul on Dwinger. It's a white ball. Yeah, it's white ball. <laughs> yeah. That was Doling's first foul. And it is the 16 foul. That's big. On if the Saints, yeah. That's assuming Norwell left. can hit free throws down the stretch. Oh, almost thrown away, stripped away. Now Middleton taken away from him. Timeout. And Bishop Dwinger able to get the timeout call on the floor. We'll see what we've got here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a full timeout. We'll take it along with them and be right back after these words from... New Holland, Tri-County. Two oh two left here in the third quarter. The Knights trail by one. 
Yeah, another baseball news. The Diamondbacks also acquired Shelby, Shelby Miller, Miller. Yep, from and the Braves. They gave up. I saw Ender Inciarte plus for that. Yep. Um, these teams have been playing semi pretty regularly over the last almost ten years. Dranger leading the series ten to six. And won in their last meeting, last December 9th. Now Norwell, though, picked to win by 10 tonight. So right now they trail by one under two minutes left in the third. I don't think he saw the defensive battle either, the computer. Right, right. Well, and this early in the season, very difficult to right. uh, predict games. As the year goes on, more games are played. Wide open, Sam Royal. Good. And Royal now with his fourth three-pointer. That's only his third three-pointer. Oh, I thought he had two in the first half. Nope. Oh, that's right. The one was a two, wasn't it, Noah? Yep. So he's got 11. For, I think he's the first to double figures for the Saints. Nice move nice by move. Kissel on the turnaround. He pulls the Knights back to within a pair. And boy, Ian has been the offense for the Knights tonight. Better than a third of the Norwell's points is that long three from Royal. Bounces out of bounds harmlessly. Kobe Gibson and Colt Rinkenberger check back in as Bray Wilson and Cody Shively take a seat. No, yep, Cody is going to take a seat. Yeah, Ian has 13 points right now. Gibson. Need somebody to get open here. Middleton finally. Late in the count. <laughs> Clinton working on Donovan. Now Kissel. Oh, just a little bit late to Colt Rankenberger. He'll lose it out of bounds, but it'll be off of Pittenberg. And the Knights will retain possession. 34.9 seconds left. Kissel up top. Oh, as Stauffer throws it away. Gathered up by Donovan, and he lays it in with the left hand. It's a four-point lead again for Dwanger. 15 seconds. Middleton quickly across the line, stripped by Jack Bentonberg. And I'll tell you what. Wow. That's a tough call. I didn't think they had that many team fouls. That's just the fourth team foul. Yeah. On uh oh, okay. Dwanger. Must uh yeah, three fouls on Pittenberg. Ten seconds on the clock. Rinkenberger looking for help. I don't know. Two seconds. He's gotta shoot it. Middleton with a turnaround three that gets about halfway to the basket. That'll end the third quarter. And Norwell trails Dwanger by four. We'll take a break and be back with the decisive fourth quarter after these words from our sponsors. Bluffton Tire, you know where they're located. Across the street from Bummies, right at the entrance to the 4-H Park, has been serving Wells County for over 50 years. Bluffton Tire needs to be the first stop for brakes, struts, front end alignment, and offers over 20 different brands of tires. Stop by and see Carrie Jennis today or visit online at BlufftonTire.com for online specials and coupons. Bluffton Tire is open Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 5, and Saturday, 7.30 till noon. Hi, this is Carrie Jennis at Bluffton Tire, and we'll keep you going. Well, back here at the castle, set to start the fourth quarter along with Noah Tobias and Derek Decker. This is Greg Van Meter. And I struggled in that third quarter. Yes, they did. Saints will have the basketball. Donovan handling it up top. 
Royal, who's shot relatively well from beyond the arc. Got to look at him as doling wide open with a miss. But Royal there for the rebound. He misses as well. Nice. Middleton comes out of there for the Knights. Good strong rebound there by Quentin Middleton. Oh. <laughs> Colt Rinkenberg. I wasn't sure what he was going to do, fellas. He had me at a loss for words <laughs> as uh, he just held on to the ball long enough to be able to get his shot up and able to knock it down. Nice steal there by uh, oh, oh. tough move for uh, Colt Rinkenberger. Had a good steal on this end, just couldn't convert on that end. That would have tied it, too. And the Knights turning up the defensive intensity a little bit here in the fourth quarter. Springer retaining the basketball. Under seven minutes to go here in this one. Springer being very patient with the basketball now, and they should be. Donovan, that's Doling. Knights still in their man-to-man. -man. They only had a couple possessions where they... Oh, nice touch by Sam Royal up top. And that's the biggest lead of the game for the Saints, 38-33. That called on Evan Doling, his second, team's fifth. Zach Smithy back in for the Saints, replacing Doling. Kissel on the drive. He'll lean in and get bailed out. I think that'll go on Zach Smithy. Yeah, it does. That's his first, team six. So the next one on... Bishop Dwenger will put Norwell in the bonus. Kissel at the line and able to bounce that one home. Cole Wilson in there with four fouls is going to replace Colt Rankenberger. I got to really stop and think to not call him Drew. <laughs> I, heard, I almost heard... Uh... Drew Shively slip, slip out as well at halftime. I almost, yeah. Yep. I, I remember I heard it was that. Cody, mm -hmm. but it took me uh, an extra heartbeat. And that's what happens when you've seen brothers play yep. over a number of years. Saw Drew at uh, Adam Central the other night. Did Ian Kissel make that second free throw? Yep. Yes, sorry. he did. Okay, I'm sorry. 38-35, going her lead. That's a foul on the Knights. It'll go on Cole Wilson, and Cole Wilson is done with 6-12 left in this basketball game. That's so, a huge loss. Yeah, for the that's, that's tough because he was having a good night. Yep, Cole, was he had 10, ten points. Yep. yep, And he's kind of emerged as a leader off of the bench for the Knights so far this year. He's contributed a lot. He really has. Zach Smithy hits his first free throw. Yeah, and uh, for a sophomore, I mean, he's got as much talent as anybody out there for the Knights. Smithy good on both of them. It's a five-point lead again for the Saints. And uh, as he continues to get experience, I think he'll get even more minutes. Middleton with the three. Air ball. Rebounded right. by Colt Rankenberger. And what did they call? It's a kick. Kickball. Okay. So Norwell retained possession. Kissel inbounding. Boy, Middleton having trouble. <laughs> Gets it to Kissel. Kissel into the lane. The leaner. Good. As he gets the roll. And the Knights back to within three. Yes. 545 left. Ian Kissel has 17 points. Well, that's uh, just shy of half of Norwell's offense tonight. Drew 
or excuse me, David O'Daniel back in there. And he gets to the rim, much to the chagrin of Randy Hawkins. That'll be the fourth foul on Cody Shively. So players yep. dropping like flies. Donovan back into the Dwanger lineup, replacing number 34, Zach McKenna. You know, Daniel's second free throw doesn't go either. Middleton pulling down the rebound. And Bray Wilson will bring it up for the Knights. Five and a half to go. This has been such a close seesaw affair. Nice back oh, nice cut pass. by Shively. Assist by Bray Wilson. And Coach Hawkins wants a full timeout. Not real happy with his team's defense right now. We'll take a break and be back after these words from our sponsors. Bluffton Plumbing, Heating, and Electric strives to be your total service provider. Their licensed technicians can handle all of your electrical, plumbing, heating, and cooling needs and now offers duct cleaning. No job is too small or too large for their service professionals. From electrical repairs, water heater replacements, sewer and drain cleaning, well repair and remodel jobs. Bluffton Plumbing, Heating, and Electric, located behind Lowe's on Commerce Drive in Bluffton, 888-824-3332. That's 824-3332. Well, it'll be Wenger's basketball, I believe. They'll have to go the length of the floor, and it looks like Norwell might bring some. Nope, they're going to fall back into their. The Saints will bring it into the front court here, and. They've changed their offensive set as now they've, well, they started out with like a 1-4, trying to get David O'Daniel open. And Riley Stauffer, who entered off the timeout for the Knights, just put his backside into David O'Daniel. That'll be the Knights' 16 foul, first on Riley. Both teams will be in a bonus on the next foul. But actually, there hasn't been a, a uh, couple of fouls called in a, in a long time now. Nice was, steal there by uh, Cole Rickenberger. Yeah, he's Middleton. had a couple. He's had a couple of those tonight. He has. He's been very, and he always is active. As Middleton stuck at half court, throws it away, and it's oh, taken away by Dwenger, and a jump ball is called on the scrum. It's. Uh, White ball. It's Norwell ball on the possession. For Dwinger, Martin takes a seat. Back in there for Dwinger is uh, McKenna. Cody Shively back in there. I think he's got four fouls too, doesn't he, Noah? Yeah, Cody Shively has four fouls. I'm a little confused because I didn't see any Norwell hands on the basketball. I just saw the yeah. uh, Dwinger player kind of squirming around. Shively with a good <laughs> move, couldn't finish, and Dwinger quickly the other way. Sam Whoa. Royal to the basket. That's going to be a foul on the Knights as he splits the defenders. And yeah. he might have popped himself in the mouth. Yep, they're going to. He knows he's bleeding, I think. Couldn't quite get his hands down in time to protect himself from his face hitting the floor. So I mean, he doesn't seem to be in any terrible pain or anything. Although, did he lose a tooth? I think he or did. Two? Yeah, there it goes. Yes, he did. He might have lost a couple. All right, we'll take a quick break while they tend to Sam Royal. We'll be back after these words from our sponsors. The Knights trail by one with 14. 
16 left on the clock. T.W. Fable, a modern American restaurant, is located inside the clubhouse at Timber Ridge Golf Course. At 2330 East, 250 North in Bluffton, you can enjoy a fine dining experience Tuesday through Thursday, 5 to 9, Friday and Saturday, 5 to 10. Kitchen closes one half hour prior to lounge. If you are looking for a great spot to have lunch, visit 250 Grill to enjoy some sandwiches, wraps, salads, and appetizers. T.W. Fable Restaurant, 2330 East, 250 North at Timber Ridge Golf Course. Reservations recommended by calling 260-353-1360. Well, Sam, actually, that was not Sam Royal. That was uh, Campbell Donovan. Yeah. That was fouled, and they also had the foul incorrect to start. It was originally it was charged to Cody Shively. That's been changed to Riley Stauffer, so... Cody still in the basketball game. Riley with his second foul. Dwenger now in the bonus. Although I think this is going to be a two-shot attempt for Campbell Donovan. Yes. Yep. He also lost a couple of teeth on the floor. Yeah, I think he might have. Although he's staying in there. Yeah. We're I'm not sure if they don't. Doesn't he need to come out since they took an injury timeout? I don't. I'm not sure about that. I do not know. If he has to come out or not, I think it's only if there's, if he's still bleeding or if there if he's bleeding front on the jersey. Yeah, I think anything like that. I think if it stops, I think he can stay in there. Yeah, I think if uh, if if there's no visible blood on the player, I don't know what the discussions in. about either. If they if they have blood on their uniform or on their right. arm or something like that. Yeah, it has to be attended to, and they'll make them leave the floor. But in this particular case. Campbell Donovan is able to stay on the floor, and he's going to shoot a couple of free throws. Maybe. They're still discussing <laughs> things. Wow. Coach Hawkins wants an explanation. Coach Kostoff got one. Now it's a timeout called by Dwinger. So Coach Kostoff's going to call a timeout to, I think, avoid having to take Donovan out of the game. So we got a 30-second timeout. We'll go ahead and take it. We'll be back in a moment. Heidi Motors is celebrating 40 years of serving Wells County and the surrounding area with an outstanding selection of low mileage cars, trucks, and SUVs that are in fantastic condition. And their ASE certified technicians in the service department offer oil changes, brakes, AC tune-ups, as well as a full line of replacement parts and tires and are the best in customer satisfaction. Visit HeidiMotors.com to browse their inventory of new and used vehicles. Four sixteen on the clock. Your Knights trailing by one. It has been a seesaw battle all the way through this basketball game. Biggest lead, Dwinger at five on a couple of occasions. Actually, here in the fourth quarter, I believe. On the floor for the Saints, it's Donovan, Smithy, O'Daniel, McKenna. And Royal for the Knights. It's Stauffer, Middleton, Kissel, Gray Wilson, and Shively. And Donovan, after taking a shot to the mouth, able to knock down a couple free throws. Minus a couple teeth. Yeah. yeah. At least I'm assuming that's what they picked up off the floor. Maybe it wasn't a two. I'm not sure what else it could have been. But... I'm surprised it's not bleeding worse than what it is, that he's able to stay in the game. Bray Wilson with an off-balance jumper. Couldn't get it to go. Big David O'Daniel able to pull down the rebound. Great move by Royal. Matador defense by the Knights, and that bring her lead back up to five. Kissel the other way. He forces it in. Doesn't Travel. get the roll. And travels, and I think that was probably a good call. Yep, one step too many. It's uh, probably a good timeout by Coach Kostoff. Yeah. Boy, I couldn't, that was way too easy for Sam Rell to get to the basket, and Riley Stauffer is going to be called for the foul. Riley 
listed at six foot tall, trying to guard David O'Daniel, listed at six eight. Yeah. Now they didn't. They've been. A, they've done a good job controlling O'Daniel for the most part tonight. Uh, he struggled from the free throw line as he hits his first one, but yeah, uh, yeah he's two of he's hitting a while. He's two of four right now. Okay. He'll try to give the Saints a seven point lead. He does, and it's now 46 39 with 3.34 to go. The Knights really need yeah. a basket on this possession with it being a three point possession lead now for the Saints. Especially when you're a team that struggles to put the biscuit in the basket. That's correct. Kissel forces it in. Nice kick out to Shively. Good. Cody Shively with his first three tonight. Coach Hawkins calls a timeout. It's a two possession game. It's a full timeout. We'll take it and be right back. The new Kaler Nickel Foundation Family YMCA, 550 West Despin Road in Bluffton, is now open and invites you to stop by and take a tour of the new facility. When you join the Y, you're not just a member of a facility, you're part of a community surrounded by friends as well as caring and knowledgeable staff. Here are just a few of the benefits of joining the Y. Unlimited participation in group exercise classes, free child care while you work out, and free private health and wellness consultations. You don't want to miss out on all your local YMCA has to offer. To learn more, visit fwymca.org. Well, just to reset things for you, 314 left in this one here in the fourth quarter. Norwell trailing by four after the big three by Cody Shively. Cody, prior to that, was 0 for 5 from beyond the arc and 2 at 3 from inside the arc. He was actually 0 for 6. Oh, I, oh, I see this one right here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how he shot down at Mississippi. Derek was Not well. Yeah. Uh... Bray Wilson had a good game down there. Okay. He, uh, almost every teardrop and runner he took in the lane went in. There's a three by the lefty Smithy. No good. Colt Rinkenberger not able to chase it down. Smithy did, but he stepped on the line apparently. So it'll be Norwell's basketball. And Dwenger's going to apply some full court man-to-man -man pressure here. Wilson... Oh, oh, oh wow. and a foul is going to be called on Donovan. That was a tough foul. Yeah, Looked like a, he got a lot of basketball. Sure did. That was a real dangerous pass on the baseline there. Coach Kostoff having a discussion with the official that called it. It'll send Ian Kissel to the line, shooting one in the bonus. That's the seventh team foul on Dwenger, just a second foul on Donovan, so he's not in any trouble. Kissel, though, is trouble when you put him on the line and you're an opponent as he buries his first one. He can make it a two-point game with this free throw, 256 left. And he does. He's got to be close to 20 points now, doesn't he, Noah? Yeah, he's four for four from the line right now. Uh, I believe 19, he maybe? might have 19, yeah. Yeah. Wenger valuing their possessions as Norwell's now gone to a 2-3 trap. That's Royal from the side, no good. And nice Cole rebound. Rickenberger able to seal off David O'Daniel. Bray Wilson, Knights with a chance to take the lead. Oh, nice Backdoor pass. Backdoor pass by Kissel. He bangs his way to the glass and ties it up. Good physical move there by Kissel. Went right into the body of David O'Daniel. And Coach Kostoff wants a timeout. Norwell was down seven. They've come back to tie it up with 2.19 left. We've got a barn burner. We'll be back after these words from Pischetti's. What do you guys want to eat for supper tonight? I want Pischetti. I want Pischetti. Paschetti's Italian Restaurant, where, yes, you can get spaghetti and so much more. Subs, sandwiches, burgers, calzones, pizza, salads, and a whole menu full of Italian cuisine and desserts. 
Pascati's Restaurant is conveniently located at 229 West Market Street in Bluffton, and they're open for lunch 11 to 4, seven days a week. Fine, we'll go to Pascati's, but I want some garlic knots. Pascati's, open Monday through Thursday, 11 to 9, Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Sundays, 11 to 8 p.m. Pascati's Italian Restaurant, 229 West Market Street in Bluffton. Back here at the castle. The Knights tied it up. Yeah, I mean, this game has really been back and forth. Sure has. All night long. It'll be Dwinger's basketball. I saw Coach Kevin Lysing in attendance. Yep. Scouting for the, tw- the matchup on the 23rd. Yep, during the holidays, holiday week anyway. Oh, nice move inside by Donovan. Assist by Martin, who's back in there for the Saints. He's out there with uh, Smithy O'Daniel, Royal, and Donovan. Oh, nice block, Middleton from behind by Royal. Up ahead to Donovan, lost the handle, tried to get it up on the glass, and Ian Kissel. Pulls down the rebound. Possessions are very valuable now with just a minute 35 to go. Both teams in the bonus. The arrow in the direction of the Saints. And Quentin Middleton is going to draw a foul as he splits Smithy and O'Daniel. He can tie this game up if he makes them both. Foul's called on Donovan, actually, on the reach in. Big first free throw here for Middleton. And it's good. Boy, this game shaping up almost exactly the same as last year. He is 53 to 50 last year, so. Yeah, that's exactly right. Riley Stauffer will take a seat. Cody Shively back in there. The only difference was the location. 53-50 at Dwenger last year. That was on the 9th of December. Middleton good on both free throws. It's a 48 all game. He's three of four from the free throw line. Now the Knights in that one, two, two trap zone. Cody Shively up top of the zone. Long arms of uh, Cody Shively. Ball batted away by Middleton, but he got a pretty good chunk of Zach Smithy's arms. Yeah. That's a second foul on Quentin. That'll send Smithy to the line to shoot one and one. That's the ninth team foul on the Knights as David O'Daniel takes a seat for the Saints. Excuse me, that's Zach McKenna shooting. Zach Smithy just entered. Those two look very similar. And McKenna good on the first free throw. Big free throw. Mm-hmm. Well, with both teams in the bonus, this could really yeah. come down to a free throw shooting that's contest. Right. McKenna gets the bounce on the second one. Token pressure by the Saints in the backcourt as they've got McKenna really all over Ian Kissel. Another turnover on the Knights, and boy, you hate to see that there, trailing by two with just a minute five left. This is good, though, for the Knights, especially... Uh, this will come in handy later in the season, trying to figure out how to win close ball games. Yeah, they're uh, trying to not go 0-4 in the start of the season. I was thinking about this the other day. Donovan blocked by oh, off, yeah, that's Drinkenberger. Good call. off the head of Donovan, and Norwell gets the basketball back with 52.3 seconds left. That's a big block, and now Coach Hawkins takes a 30-second timeout. We'll be right back. Norwell trailing by two. Bluffton Roofing Incorporated prides themselves on developing a long-term relationship with their customers, listening to their needs, and suggesting the proper course of action, be it preventative maintenance, repair, or replacement. Bluffton Roofing and owner James Worth are GAF certified and are certified weather stopper roofing contractors. Bluffton Roofing is fully insured, protecting you and your home. Call 824-3564 or 307-6313. Bluffton Roofing Incorporated, quality First, home improvements.
Well, this is a big possession for Norwell. They can tie or take the lead here. Yeah, now the pressure's really going to come from Dwinger. That was just a great defensive play by Colt Rankenberger. Even his brother would have been proud of him on that one. <laughs> we talked about the fact that uh, Norwell trying to avoid going 0-4. I'll tell you guys, in my memory, which goes back to about 1973. Does it? I cannot recall a Norwell team ever starting 0-3, let alone 0-4. And, and Gray Wilson has to call time. They've got to be closed out. Uh, yeah, I think out that might have been their last one. It's a full timeout for the Knights, and I think you're right, Derek. 37.4 on the clock. It will be interesting to see what kind of strategy Coach Hawkins employs here. We'll take a break and be back after these words from Indiana Physical Therapy. Hi, this is Dale from The Voice Enterprises. For countless years, I struggled with back pain. And more often than not, the doctors would just prescribe pain meds, which would just dull the pain. It wasn't until I was referred to Indiana Physical Therapy that I truly experienced pain relief. The professionals at IPT showed me the correct exercises and stretches for my problems, and my back pain began to fade away, and as a result, my entire body began to feel better. Indiana Physical Therapy's highly trained professionals treat all types of injuries and ailments and accept all insurance. For more information on IPT or to schedule an appointment, call 824-0522 or visit indianapt.com. What do you think, fellas? You think they'll uh, run it down or try to score early in this possession? I think they'll try to run it down and give it to Ian Kissel for a last second sh for a last shot. I'm not sure if it's going to be a three or a two. Yeah, the real concern is, do they have any timeouts? In. Cody Shively drives. Offensive and, foul. Yeah, and that's a good call. Yeah, yeah. yeah he just really out of control in there. Yeah, lost control of the basketball and just kind of ran over. Zach yeah. Smithy, that's a big foul, and it's the fifth one on Cody Shively. The only good, yeah, that is. It, uh, the only good news about that foul is that's a player control. It, right, there's no free throws. That's going to send Riley Stoffer into the lineup. Although Norwell's not going to be able to wait too long before fouling here. Yeah, they're going to have to get a, uh, get a quick steal or foul. Full court pressure. Oh, my goodness. Dwinger wow. gets it in easily into the front court. McKenna oh, he lost loses it. loses the basketball. Ray Wilson, I think, able to cause that turnover with 24 seconds. Ian Kissel with the basketball on the crossover to the lane. And one. Oh. Good wow. Move by Ian. <laughs> He'll go to the line to oh, shoot man. a pair. That ball was Ooh. halfway down the cylinder. Not sure how that one came out. The foul called on Sam Royal. And now he's, or that's three on Sam. Boy, Kissel with a good, strong move to the basket and nearly had that one in, and now a couple of big free throws. High off the backboard, just wouldn't go down. Kissel's first one is good. He can tie it up with this free throw. This is the really There's big a timeout. one. That's probably a good timeout. I think Norwell's out of timeouts. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, you're they, right. They should be. He just signaled it. As uh, it is a full timeout for Coach Kostoff. We'll take a quick break, hear from a couple sponsors, and be right back. Warren Pharmacy, we offer local delivery, accept hundreds of prescription insurance plans, offer special ordering for hard-to-find items, have home health care and convalescent supplies, stock Nature's Bounty, Windmill and Basic Vitamins, and Nature's Sunshine nutritional products along with many other services provided. Warren Pharmacy, 222 North Wayne Street in Warren. You can reach them toll-free at 800-895-7035. Warren Pharmacy, we're big enough to meet your needs, yet small enough to know your name. Well, Dwinger will have the basketball. Excuse me. Ian Kissel's got another free throw to shoot. Yeah, and this is the all-important free throw. See, so if he knocks this down, 
kind of comes down to what kind of defense do you run? I'm sure he went over that in the timeout if he knocks it down. If he doesn't knock it down, then you have to foul pretty quick. Oh, yeah, you have to foul immediately. i, I got to believe they'll play full-court pressure defense with 18.6 seconds on the clock as Kissel's second one also good. I 50, had fifty game. I knew he was going to make it. Ian Kissel yeah, is so clutch. As well, well free you know, throw line. I we mean, are. You can always count on him. Absolutely, we're tied at fifty again for almost the second year in a row. Here Six we go. And a half seconds left. Oh, and Sam Royal. No. Carries the three. The clock stopped for no reason, and that's going to beat the Knights. Exact same score as a year ago. This time on Norwell's home floor. Unbelievable. As the Saints, Sam Royal just elevated from beyond the arc. And the Saints win their first game of the year, 53-50, to here at the Castle. I was not expecting that shot from Sam Royal. It was a wild shot. He just kind of grows above everybody and knocked it down. And early. As you know, he, and well, I think maybe it, it was earlier than you thought, but maybe um, leaving time for a quick yeah. rebound. I think that's what his plan was. Oh, Daniel was in there uh, looking for a rebound, and then the it's clock stopped play. for no reason because clock does not stop in high school. Nope. It stopped after the basket. It didn't matter. The official scorer thought he was doing a college game there for just a second, and and that uh, that comes down to no timeouts left for the Knights. They would have had to themselves a shot there was a two and a half seconds left after he knocked it down but that's just kind of the way the season's been going for the Knights yes it is the Knights fall to 0-4 here early in the season Dwenger 1-0 now their first basketball game we'll take a break do some figuring on the stats and be back with your post game show after these words from our sponsors Are you taking the first step towards a healthier you, or are you just tired of the same workout? From beginners to fitness veterans, the Greater Fort Wayne YMCA is the place for you. We offer a full range of workout equipment, personal trainers, certified instructors, a full line of classes, an indoor pool, and so much more. Have peace of mind when you work out with child care available. The Greater Fort Wayne YMCA is so much more. Join today. Visit fwymca.org. Indiana is filled with fabulous golf courses that offer a variety of experiences and are as diverse and distinct as the regions they're in. And there is one right here in your backyard that you shouldn't miss. Green Valley Golf Club, located at 2635 East, 150 North in Bluffton. You deserve a little time on the greens, so book your tee time, brush off your spikes, and get ready to play. Green Valley Golf Club, located at 2635 East, 150 North in Bluffton, just east of the Stone Quarry. Montpelier Ag LLC is locally owned and operated by Southern Wells grad Bill Bonham. Montpelier Ag LLC offers your hometown advantage by keeping costs down and dealing with someone you know. Located at 240 West Windsor Street in Montpelier, open Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 and Saturday from 8 to noon. Bill invites you over to the store, have a cup of coffee while you're there, and check out the inventory of farm and garden supplies, pond supplies, pet food and bird seed, and more. Montpelier Ag LLC, proudly supporting high school sports. 
This is your moment. Explore the University of St. Francis. Known for our quality academic options and dedicated professors who practice in their fields, you will discover the perfect program to fit your interests and goals. Hands-on experience with internships, clinicals, and co-ops makes a USF education a great value and investment into your future. Apply now at sf.edu. We are seeking applicants for $15 million in scholarships this year. This is your moment. Believe. Troxel Equipment offers a full line of John Deere equipment. Troxel Equipment features a large inventory of all makes and models of pre-owned equipment that has been well maintained and ready for service. Most of Troxel's pre-owned equipment was traded in from owner operators. Be sure to ask about our certified pre-owned units. Troxel Equipment has the ability to customize your financing, lease, or installment contracts to meet your cash flow needs. Visit any of our three locations in Bluffton, Huntington, or Wabash, or check out our website for our inventory of new and pre-owned equipment. Troxel Equipment, the dealership you can trust. Pizza Hut is changing the way you think about pizza with their Flavor of Now menu. With over 2 billion combinations of new ingredients, crusts, and sauces, you can customize your pizza and take it where pizza has never gone before. But don't stress, all the old-time favorites are still available. At Pizza Hut, it's everything you've always loved about pizza and more. Order online now at PizzaHut.com or download our mobile app, Pizza Hut Flavor of Now Menu, at your local Pizza Hut in Bluffton. He shoots, he scores, it's out of here. He could go all the way. That's the reaction you'll get when you get her a gift of fine jewelry from Daniel's Jewelers in Bluffton. Hi, this is Dan and Jane from Daniel's Jewelers, and we want you to score big. We have beautiful diamond pendants, rings, and earrings, including diamonds in motion. These pieces powered by her heartbeat are awesome. Check out our fun jewelry. Stainless steel jewelry by Steelex. Jewel pops by Chameleon. Angelica bracelets made from recycled metals. And our newest, convertibles by Lestage. We offer ring sizing done on premise, and the first sizing is free when you purchase your ring from Daniels. Okay, guys, best of all, free gift wrapping. Win big. See you at Daniels Jewelers in Bluffton on State Road 1, north of Lowe's, open Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 6, and Saturday, 9.30 to 4. Well, welcome back to the castle. Greg Van Meter along with Noah Tobias and uh, Derek Decker, and now we're joined by Norwell head coach Randy Hawkins. And, Hawk, that Indy had to look pretty familiar. As yeah. last year, 53-50 to 50 at yeah, Dwinger. It was. It was the same exact score. You're right, because I yeah. just watched that game to, to look over, see what they're doing this past weekend. So, yeah, I mean, we fought, you know, yeah. and, you know, we're undersized, uh, but we had guys out there gutting it out. Uh, you know, we can look at some of the negative 16 turnovers, what are we had, and, and poor shooting, uh, but we're still in the ball game. We're still we're playing hard, and that's what's keeping us in the game. And, um, you know, I told the guys, just got to learn from it. We're 0 4. Deal with it. Yep. Um, we're not. I, you know, I look at you know it's 0 4, but man, we're we're dangerous because we can shoot the ball. And once we keep getting this defensive thing figured out, um, we'll be all right. Uh, it just we just got to keep working together as one and get used to one another. Uh, we got in some foul trouble tonight as well. That really hurt us. Uh, trying to get guys in and out. Uh, Cole Wilson, I thought was playing really well. Yeah. Got in foul trouble. And we had to take him out of the game. That's he what to I do that saw. To a so. kid as well. So. Yep. Um, you know, but we fought. Um, I think Riley had some great time, some great minutes tonight. Uh, just did very well for us on side. We moved him to the five position. Um, you know, that's something we're going to continue looking at. And uh, you know, we we're fine. Yeah. We 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 will continue to learn from this, uh, from our mistakes. Every game, you know, that, that we have played, we're going to learn from and and continue working forward. Well, I thought Ian Kissel probably had his best game of the season tonight. Uh, so far, tw- we had him for twenty three. Wow. Uh, and and some good tough baskets, some physical baskets from him tonight. Able to finish. Yeah, every time we play doing it's a physical game, and, yeah. and that's fine. I mean, that's you know, that's if they're going to do it that way, that's fine. So, um, you know, they, they uh, yeah, that's the way they call it. That's fine. Um, we play through it. We got to make some adjustments. We got to we got to understand the you know how they're calling it, and, and again make those uh, those good adjustments as far as the guys on the court. And uh, you know, I thought we, for the most part we did that. Uh, we just got to continue uh, to to just look at our mistakes. Um, you know, we hate to burn timeouts when we, right. we can't get the ball in. Yep. Uh, just silly timeouts like that. Um, 
But again, you know, that's just understanding what, how we need to move without the basketball. We don't move so well without the basketball yet, and that's something we've been working on for the last couple, two, three weeks. So yeah. uh, we're, we'll get there. Um, I believe in the guys. Um, you know, this is awkward being 0-4, but again, it's that's not what it's about. It's, it's about March, getting guys ready for that right. time, and playing these games, these tough physical teams. It's getting us, definitely getting us ready. Yeah, well, and I see really good improvement on the defensive end. I mean, I... You know, for being outsized again tonight against a Dwenger team that uh, opens with a six-eight player in the middle and, and not a skinny one at that, I thought they defended him really well tonight. Uh, Rinkenberger and um, Cole Wilson, when he was able to stay in there, I thought made some great defensive plays. Yeah, you know, it's just a matter of understanding movement on the defensive end and just trusting. Uh, we we got a lot of help side coming over to help. We just got to yeah. trust that our guys are put in place and. We let number 10 get wide open looks tonight by not closing out hard enough. And, yeah. you know, so those are things we got to look at and adjust to. And, you know, number 10, hey, he had another shot. Well, we got to get out there on him. Make him drive and trust that our teammates there to help, uh, you know, prevent the split, that sort of deal, and, and stop him from, from driving. And uh, we're not quite there yet defensively, but uh, vast improvement from game one, yeah. two, and even three. You know, yeah. this guy is, you know, I think game one and two really opened our eyes to the defensive end. Uh, to 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 make some adjustments, uh, what we needed to do, um, you know, game three got a little better. They still scored pretty well, you know, a lot inside. Uh, this game, I thought they struggled a little bit to score on us. Mm-hmm. On us, I thought we did a better job of blocking out. Um, but I'm not saying we were there yet. Yeah. We're, we're definitely not there on on defensive end or blocking out or anything like that. We got to continue um, doing the little things like that to to keep going forward and to be in ball game. So. Again, it, you know, defensively we did fine. Free throws, we didn't. I don't think we shot great from the free throw line. We shot a poor percentage from the field in the first half, at least. I'm not sure about the second half. Um, and we gave up some good looks, and we're still in the ball game. So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you will, we'll take it. I'm not calling this a moral victory, but victory by any means, but uh, we got to stay positive. I was going to say, I don't think I've ever heard you say use those two words together. Moral oh, victory. victory. Yeah. yeah, it's either a yeah. victory or it's not. Yeah. You head down to Southern Wells on Saturday night. What do you expect to see from the Raiders? Well, you know, I, I told the guys, you know, they're going to be ready to play. Yeah. You know, they're looking at us as an 0 4 team. And I told the guy, deal with it. We're 0 4. <laughs> Can't change that. Yep. So, you know, they're going to be licking their chops. They're thinking that's a, a great opportunity for them, which it should be. I mean, you know, we're we're a team that's still, still working in the works, mm-hmm. getting better. Uh, and they're another veteran team that have many of their guys back. So, again, we got to be ready to play. They're going to defend their home court. We're back on the road again. Yeah. Fourth time in boy, five boy, games. Yeah, that's a tough start, it, man. You know, it, it really with this team, it's just we need a win. Yeah. You know, it would have been nice to have it. You know, if we had a, a victory at Mississippi Wall, you know, I think maybe things may have been been different during this game. Sure. But we just need to turn that corner. Yeah. And, and we haven't done that yet. But, uh, again, we'll get there. Um, you know, we'll, we'll keep getting better, and that's what it's all about. And I know we're, we're going to be a pretty dangerous team throughout the season. Well, Coach, I will not be with you on Saturday night. I will be on the beach in Cancun, but I will try to follow the score, and I will have one for you. Okay, thanks. (laughs) All right, buddy. (laughs) Hey, thanks for joining us. Thank you. And best best of luck on Saturday night. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Coach. Head Coach Randy Hawkins joining us here in the postgame show. And, Noah, I know you've got – a lot of stats there for us. There's a lot of numbers in this book right now, and I am pretty sure I have them all calculated. So we will see how Go good. Go get them, partner. Let's see how good you did. We'll see if my problem stats grade matches yeah. up with this book here. Yeah. All right, so starting out with Bishop Dwanger, Sam Royal had a big 21 points. Uh, and then number 14, Campbell Donovan, the man who lost a couple teeth tonight. We think had nine points. <laughs> uh, then number twenty, uh, Conlon Martin had seven points. Number thirty, Zach Smithley Smithy had five points. Uh, Zach McKenna had six points, and then David O'Daniel had five points. Bishop Dwanger was twelve of thirty-one from two-point land, which is thirty-eight percent. They were also six of seventeen from three-point land, which is 35%. They were also 18 of 39 from the field, which is 46%. And then field uh, free throws, they were 12 of 20, which is 60% tonight. Uh, And then over to your Norwell side, Cody Shively had 10 points. 
Uh, Ian Kissel had 23 points. Cole Wilson had 10 points. Quentin Middleton had 3 points. Uh, Colt Rankenberger had 4 points. And that wraps it up for your Knights. Uh, they were 7 of 24 from 2 point land, which is 29%. They were also 5 of 14 from 3 point land, which is 36%. So that's not that bad of a number. You always want to get that number up, uh, especially for this Norwell team. Yeah, I was going to uh, say 33 is acceptable um, because that's an equivalent to 50% from inside the arc. However, yep. this team needs to shoot at least 40. 40. 45%. So yep. go ahead, Noah. And then for field goals for Norwell, they were 12 of 38, which is 32%. That's a, that's a bad number. Uh, but I had Norwell from the free throw line 15 of 19. I'm not sure if that's number if that number is right. Uh, and that's 79%. So if that yeah, number good. is right, that is that's a great number. number to have. Yeah. It is. Um, and they made them all down the stretch. Yeah. Re- yeah, I mean, Ian Kissel in the fourth quarter, he was 6 of 6 from the free throw line and that was huge uh that greg that's all i have for stats well ian kissel with a great night i mean i don't know if anybody's going to argue with him for player of the game tonight oh i'm going to two and oh baby yeah i'm not but i do want to mention colt rankenberger because he had a great game tonight going against six eight daniel david o'daniel he did a great job, but Ian Kissel is definitely my player of the game. Yeah, I would agree with you 100%, fellas. And, and, and I'll tell you, the other guy I would mention, we talked about him a little yeah. bit, Cole Wilson. Yep. Uh, I think you're going to see Cole get more and more playing time for Coach Hawkins, and, he, and he's earned it. Um, yes. Now he's just got to quit committing the uh, silly fouls, and I think he will. I mean, I think he's yeah. a smart enough basketball right. player that he will make That's those right. adjustments. So. so. I think we're good to go. Derek, any final thoughts? Yeah, we did have one final from the NBA, and that was Golden State beat Indiana 131 to 123 in a high scoring wow. affair. Uh, let me, Pacers really came back in that game. Steph Curry had 29. Yeah. And, uh, well, that's, and Thompson had 39. How, so. how did George do? He had uh, 33. 33, yeah, good night for him. Well,. Uh, the Pacers do not end the Warriors' winning streak. That now goes to 23 games, I believe. 23. Unbelievable. And uh, we are done here from Norwell. Once again, your final. Dwanger on a last-second shot by Sam Royal, 53. Norwell, 50. The Knights fall to 0-4. Dwanger improves to 1-0 on the season. For Noah Tobias and Derek Decker, this is Greg Van Meter saying, good night, everybody. We'll be back. Here at the castle tomorrow night for the girls versus Eastbrook game. Hope you can join us. We hope you enjoyed this high school sports broadcast on the Voice Sports Network. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. The preceding production is property of Voice Enterprises and all rights are reserved worldwide. Thank you for listening to this production of Voice Enterprises, taking media in a new direction.